computer startup. This video is related to a blog post I wrote called Fine Tune LLM Foundation Models with the Instruct Lab, an open source project introduced by IBM and Red Hat. Simplified, we can say let's contribute to foundation models in a yeah community way and not wait that other provided you everyone can provide to that in an open source way and that will be maintained and the provided the infrastructure in an open source way by IBM and Red Hat. Everyone can contribute. That is the initial setup. Um, the main focus in that video here is about the setup to do all the fine tuning first of all on the local machine and see how that works and to dig into the various areas which is related to that project you can start with mm, for sure <laughs> with my blog post and also i want to show you the relevant information here um, interesting uh, blog post also from the IBM research so that is what is behind the instru uh, in uh, the instruct lab and a um, video made by Red Hat which does a demo of the instruct lab and for sure <laughs> yeah is the project itself and take a look here and contribute here are the main three re uh, repositories in the project here and what I want to highlight here that is now we are working with the instruct lab that is the command line interface it has the same name as the um, project itself so sometimes it can a little bit confuse it when we talk about instruct lab so the instruct lab that is here the command line info interface the ta uh, taxonomy so that is a um, topic which ca uh, is more for the next video where we put all the data when we do the training how that works and uh, for sure the community yeah everyone yeah, can contribute. There must be some guidelines how to do that so that every everything works. And with all of that, I would say we are ready to go. As usually, I set easy navigation points into the description of that video and all the related resources I can point to. And with that in mind, I would say that we can start with setup on a local machine. Local machine, I use a um, Mac with an M3 uh, processor. And that is what I described, but you can also follow other instructions of the instruct lab itself of the setup. But that is now what I do on that machine. and. Uh, if you have the same machine, you can follow along and uh, try it out by yourself. So now it's time to get the hands dirty, starting with the setup of Instruct Lab. In the blog post, I wrote all the steps which I will do in that video for the setup on the local machine. So let's uh, see how that works. We do a lot of copy and paste. Yeah, and let's start with uh, the basic stuff. And for, for sure, you can also take a look in the guides inside Instruct Lab. Maybe there is an update. So let, let me see if some uh, was already updated when I now follow the steps when I, uh, yeah, after I wrote that, because it is an in progress project, it's open source, and maybe, yeah, some of my information is outdated. So. Let's see, for sure, I would say um, creating the folder <laughs> that will be that will be not that was n not changing. So let's see, just I open up that again. Uh, so yeah, the folder 
and now just creating a folder in StructLab. Now that uh, folder is created. The next step is that we move to the newly created folder. Okay, we are in that created uh, folder and now we will install the iLab CLI, the InstructLab CLI and we need to ensure that we have the right uh, Python virtual environment and if you're not so familiar with uh, Python and virtual environments, yeah, Python has a lot of possibilities to be installed in several libraries and so on and to ensure that you're working in the right environment it is really necessary that you take care about having uh, the right virtual environment information and enable the virtual environment and so now we are going to set up a virtual environment for our project here so now let's see here in that folder we will now set up a virtual environment you can see that and now to activate the environment yeah we will use the uh, instructions here and then from there we can use the um, pipe functionality so that is uh, a packaging for the um, python so that we have the needed libraries and everything is clear so that we really can work in that environment so then we will install the instruct lab and that can take a little bit and maybe i will speed up the video here so everything is installed as you can see in our folder of the instructor we have that virtual environment with the uh, configuration information then we can add additional commands into um, our configurations for the terminal maybe to auto fulfill um, information of commands and I already set up that we can take a look here for example in that bash config so I will say nano and you can see that is what I already did yeah can from here okay now we go to uh, configure that and what we will carefully inspect what will create it inside all these folders so let's see you start with an init and currently I have uh, no repository in that environment here yeah, so I just say here uh, return and I let create the taxonomy information which is needed yeah for um, configure later the uh, different foundation models which are supported um, and I need to download that in that context so that is an additional project now it's done so that is at the end what you can see here what we have we going to install that but that is also needed yeah and now we are moving on that is done yeah for sure uh, we can that <laughs> see in in the tree but i will use here that now you can see that is the taxonomy project that is installed and then we have a um, configuration that is important to get familiar with that you need uh, uh, that you can see which options are configured to run the instruct lab with a greedy mode maybe we, so at the moment when we start with a chat the greedy mode is disabled where the data, the data is and max token information general information which model is out of the box used number of cpus and so on and gpu layer that is uh, important to know um, that for example does automatically enable that every GPU which is available on your machine when you uh, use uh, mm, 
Apple M3, for example, that is automatically uh, enabled with that. So that is what we should take care of. And then we will download the model and for sure, because of that configuration, which is already given, we can just run it with the command insertion um, ilab model download and that model is already given here and now it starts to download the model into that um, yeah that folder the folder was created with the out of the box configuration what we can see here and that takes a little bit time and i would say I will speed up the video from here. So now the model is downloaded, as we can see. Um, let us take a look into the folder. The model file is downloaded in the GGUF format, which is a GPT-generated unified format. You can take a look into the more details if you want for that. This is optimized for using it here. And now, we can serve the model. So that is one of the next steps. Uh, we already have activated the, um, uh, the virtual environment in that um, yeah, in that terminal. So we start now the model using the Llama uh, CPP inference on the local machine. And as we can see, it's started up. And with that information, so that we can say a startup complete C, um, that is to verify if the startup al already works. So we will not be notified here with an additional information. And let us open up a new terminal just to verify if everything works. So for that is we will not open up the um, the UI. In that case, we just use the console and try to interact and see if that already works and we can verify if there is any information in that terminal. So for that, we see that we um, need also to activate <laughs> again in, in our environment, in the new terminal, the right Python environment yeah, to do all of that stuff. And the next is that we serve the model. Yeah. And then we should be ready to interact with the chat. So let's see. Yeah, it is ready to interact with the chat. And let's see what happens if I say, I can say anything. Hello world. And what happens? Yeah, okay, and everything works in that case. Let us see what is the output. There's no additional output and no log at the moment, so we need to do that by our self with some interaction with the uh, iLab commands. And let us verify again, is there any new model in addition, create not new model data information used? So that is uh, now given and here we have a chat log so we can see what is the elapsed time that was the input and that is what was given in addition yeah it works very smoothly and with all of that in mind we are ready to move on really to contribute and see how the taxonomy tree works and how maybe to contribute own data, asking own questions. And that's all about that video. Or, and as I said, I put below in the description the relevant um, information resources and also optimize the navigation. And all I can say remaining, thanks for watching and maybe see us in the next video. Bye.